Before we get into this latest story, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Pacific, Puerto Assis. It's a bit caliente down there. Be careful. That was the general response from Bogotá-based acquaintances when I told them I was heading to the town of Puerto Assis in Colombia's Putumayo department, close to the border with Ecuador. Caliente, hot, that is, wasn't in reference to the weather, although with afternoon temperatures regularly reaching over 30 degrees Celsius and high humidity, it certainly is sultry. No, hot in this context refers to the security situation, as in its being dangerous. There is nothing too shocking in that. Frontier towns tend to come with a negative reputation. I have, though, been to enough of them in Colombia to know that this label is not always warranted. Just don't expect them to feature high in lists of best places to live. Yet, of the border towns I've stayed in across the world, Puerto Assis ranks as one of the more livable ones, along with Cucuta. Okay, recency bias together with my quite low expectations might be at play in this. However, from a safety perspective, often the most pressing concern in such places, Puerto Assis seems almost crime-free. With the town's population around the 50,000 mark in an area covering roughly 6 square kilometres, excluding the hinterland that is, I walked practically every bit of it. Nowhere did I feel unsafe. What's more, none of the residents ever advised me to exercise caution in certain parts, as often happens in other big towns and cities. The place appeared delinquent-free. It was even largely devoid of the Colombian standard in-your-face wandering street vendors and beggars. A local tienda bar owner said to me that the area has been controlled by non-state actors, hence less obvious delinquency on the streets. Obligatory payments to officially prescribed armed groups come with certain benefits, akin to the days when the IRA allegedly kept drug pushers out of the neighbourhoods it managed in Northern Ireland. The most irksome element is the motorbike or moto taxi drivers who frequently offer their services by beeping, gesturing and or calling out moto as they pass one by. It's almost as if it's an offence to walk anywhere or merely stand around. It also seems that the humble bicycle is frowned upon. This is moto town or motown if you will. Now, if you ask me what is Puerto Assis's unique selling point, well, outside of what I've already described, I struggle to come up with anything. The town itself has no outstanding landmarks and there isn't much on the must-do or must-visit list. What's more, the closest water courses, the Putumayo and Cocaya rivers, don't entice one in for a dip. Quite a shame that, considering the heat. Also, the sands on the Putumaya River's banks are inviting, so it's unfortunate its waters don't follow suit. It's even on the more expensive side when it comes to my BBC, beer, bread and coffee, staples. More expensive than Bogota's working-class barrios, that is. This, though, isn't unusual. Unlike in some other countries, Colombia's capital is cheaper for certain essentials compared to the country's provincial towns. A special mention to Panaderia Mickey all the same. It offers a decent enough Tinto, small black coffee, for a very reasonable 1,200 pesos. My most eventful moment was seeing the efforts of a few lorry drivers trying to free a truck stuck in the aforementioned sands of the Putumayo River. The episode did merit a YouTube Shorts video. See the description text for a link to that. My visiting of Puerto Assis was to use it as a departure point to go by river to La Chorera, the Roger Casement village as I call it, deep in the Amazon. Alas, trying to get to La Chorera from Puerto Assis by boat proved complicated and costly. In fact, it's more straightforward and currently cheaper to fly from San Jose de Guaviare. From a carbon footprint perspective, the flights might have a bigger impact but I did try to take the friendly option. If only the most vociferous climate activists were more like me, eh? 
Others may visit or pass through Puerto Assis for similar reasons, i.e. to get a taste of the Amazon jungle by boat. And there are more hassle-free places to get to than the isolated La Chorera. So as a river port town close to Ecuador and within two days boat ride of Peru, Puerto Assis is probably an unavoidable town for certain travellers. That it has countless hotels and motels is evidence of that. Nonetheless, few seem to stay in the town for longer than necessary, a day or two at most. The nine days I spent in Puerto Assis were less of a ringing endorsement of the place and more a reflection of my current wherever I am is my home state of mind. However, if I had to base myself in Puerto Assis for an indefinite time, I'd have no complaints about that. I can cope with its caliente air. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If not, why not do so right now? It's free and only takes a second. Thanks!